Will China threaten the U.S. or other Western countries militarily in the future? I mean, that's a pretty open-ended question. I don't know what the in the future means. Is that the next 20 years, the next 100 years, the next 1,000 years? I don't know. I, I would say that in the next 20 years, it's very unlikely that China will threaten militarily U.S. and Western countries. I, I, I think for a number of reasons. One is, is China is... is too poor to do it in a significant way. It just doesn't have the technology to do it. Uh, I think that the trends in China towards more authoritarianism, which would lead them to be more aggressive, are also trends that are going to lead to China becoming less wealthy and, because authoritarianism leads to lack of creativity and ultimately destruction economically. So I think China is not on the ascend but on a descend. I think economic growth in China is declining, is not declining. The rate of growth is declining, and the reason is that so much freedom has been taken away from the Chinese. That is, we're going through a period right now, the last three or so years, where freedom in China is shrinking. And I think that will mean economic success in China will shrink, which means that become they, they, they won't get as wealthy as fast as they think, which means their military buildup is going to have to wait significantly. And they have a lot of internal pressures. They have a lot of internal challenges, which involve, for example, uh, the fact that many people, many, many, many people, hundreds of millions of people are still poor. They, these people want to become middle class. If the Chinese economy uh, stutters, how do they become middle class? What, what facilitates that? Nothing really facilitates it. So there, China is facing a lot of challenges, unless it decides to free up its economy. Uh, uh, allow for more political and economic freedom in dramatic way. And, and free countries, I don't worry about free countries from a military perspective because I don't think they, be, they are threats. So one path is it becomes freer and therefore is not a threat to the United States. The other path is become authoritarian. But as it becomes authoritarian, it becomes less powerful militarily and it becomes less of a threat to the United States. The United States has such a military technological advantage over the military forces of the Chinese and the Russians that I really do not think we have anything to worry about. Also, both of the regimes in China and in Russia are regimes that are not interested in committing suicide. We're not going to get into a nuclear war with China um, so, because the Chinese don't want to die. So I don't, I don't think China's a big military threat. Now, the, the one threat that I can see happening is China getting into economic trouble and China invading Taiwan to distract people? And then the question is, does the U.S. go to war with China to protect Taiwan uh, based on its treaties or doesn't it? Or does it just, in a sense, give Taiwan to the Chinese? I think given the fact that China is a nuclear power, I think at the end of the day, the United States folds and let China have Taiwan. We impose, we impose uh, sanctions. We don't have trade with them. We, we shake our finger at them. But I don't think we actually go to war. So I think the, and, and I don't think the Chinese are interested in war. I think they're interested in expanding their scope of influence in Asia. I think they want to be the dominant power in Asia. I, I certainly think they are very, very motivated to expand their the economic ability because they've got this hundreds of millions of people who are poor, who they, they, they want to bring out of poverty and they're afraid of revolution if they don't bring them out of poverty. And I just don't see them as a military threat to the United States and indeed their economic interests. They, I think, understand better than many in the West that their economic interests are tied to trade, they're tied to keeping the shipping lanes open, they're tied to indeed the success of the West and the United States as trading partners with China and that they don't win from war. So I just don't see it. And, and Chinese history is not a history of military expansion, particularly not beyond certain borders. I mean, you could see them getting into a war with Vietnam. You could see them getting into a war with Taiwan. You can see them getting into a war, you know, in, 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 maybe even with Russia over, I don't know, mineral rights in Mongolia or something. But I don't see them getting into a war with the West in the 20 years, 20 years into the future. Beyond that, I cannot make predictions.
What do you think is going to happen to the United States of America if we keep going this way? If we keep going this way, total collapse. But I still think that we won't be keep going this way. That what will save this country is not its intellectuals, but the people. Because they've rebelled already without much pr intellectual prodding. That they've already becoming aware of the fact that we have to go to the right and not more welfare state. That's a great, great uh, uh, tribute to the intelligence of the people. Only I want to make something clear. I'm not a conservative. I think that today's conservatives are worse than today's liberals. I think they are, if anyone destroys this country, it will be the conservatives, because they do not know how to preach capitalism, uh, to explain it to the people, because they do nothing except apologize, and because they're all altruists. They're all based on religious altruism. And on that combination of ideas, you cannot save this country. Mm -hmm. The trouble with this country is that it was based on the right philosophy originally by the founding fathers, but they did not have a moral code to match the, the political ideas which they had. You love this country, don't you? Passionately. Very, very much, and consciously. I love it for its ideas. And I've seen enough of the other side, so I can appreciate this country. You might even...